Hi, I'm Chef Raphael and welcome to today's video. Now, this is a series of videos that I'm doing about cooking with cheese. And today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a chapati Rolex. Now, chapati Rolex looks like this. It's a snack. It's something you can have for breakfast. It's egg. I've cooked some eggs, like an omelette, and added some feta cheese. Now watch till the end and you learn the technique and how feta cheese makes this dish the perfect one as a snack, whether it's for your kids or when you want to carry it for your office, uh, when you eat in your office or at work. I'm going to dig in, watch till the end and you see how simple it is to make it. Let's get cooking. I get lots of questions on which is the best cheese to use. Well, personally over the years I've been using Cirimon cheese and one thing about it, it uses unpasteurized milk and another fun fact about it, especially when I have catering gigs, it's vegetarian safe. They use vegetarian rennet to make the cheese, which means for sure a vegetarian can actually take it. Another thing about it, they do not add any additional artificial additives to, the, uh, to make the cheese. And also it's available locally in all leading supermarkets like Kafu, Quickmart and Naivas and online on sirimon.co.ke forward slash shop. More info on the description below. So welcome to the show. Now if you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing because I have weekly videos for cooking and baking. And uh, now for today's video with the chapati, with the Rolex, which is basically eggs, and chapati. Now I'll start with the ingredients. So I have two chapatis here and they will actually affect the size of pan that I will use which I'll explain when we start cooking. So the two chapatis there I have two eggs. Now for two eggs you'll use for one chapati. I have some crushed black pepper, there's some salt, some mixed colored peppers, margarine for cooking the egg. Uh, you can also use cooking oil and then we have the feta cheese. Now for a Rolex, a normal Rolex, these are the main ingredients but when you add cheese it adds some extra flavor. Now for feta cheese it adds some salt. So it's a salty cheese, not very salty but it has some flavor to it. So when I add it to this it will make it interesting. It tends to melt when you cook it. So feta cheese, when you hear feta cheese you always think of a salad. But with this recipe, I wanted to show you how you can actually cook with it. Um, so this is a fast cook, fast cooking dish. So it's not something you'll cook for a long time, which again, when you start cooking, you will see. And when you're using it, you need to use it uh, straight from the fridge. You should not let it uh, become uh, warm. So we'll start by now cutting the, the feta cheese into the desired size, the smallest pieces that will go well with my main, the rest of the ingredients. So before I even cut it, let me go deeper into explaining this cheese. Now, feta cheese usually has this characteristic um, like air pockets within. It's a cheese that can easily crumble um, when you, you know, especially when you're doing it in a salad. You see, this is how you usually make it. You just crumble it or cut it into cubes. And again, back to the taste, if I can describe even the, the, even the texture. Now, a good quality cheese like this, especially feta, like I said, it has a nice salty taste because even when you check on the ingredients, it has salt. This one, they use uh, vegetarian rennet, so it's something even for a vegetarian can, um, can take because the rennet is vegetarian. Now, also when it comes to storage, when you use it, um, when you open it from the, its pack and you have some left, put it in an airtight container and it keeps up to three days in the fridge. Um, now this type of cheese is not the like cheddar that can stay long, especially in the fridge and then maybe you trim off um, any molds that may develop. It's a fresh type of cheese. In case yours is old, let's say it stayed, let's say five days in the fridge, then um, don't use it in a salad, cook it like the way I'm going to cook it. But most importantly, make sure it's in an airtight container when you store it in the fridge. So uh, for this recipe, you can choose to crumble the, the cheese, um, like how I'll demonstrate it when you're cooking. But for me, I prefer cutting it into cubes. 
so I'll just cut whatever is enough. Uh, I'll cut it the same size as my peppers. I mean, same shape, um, not too small, because when I'm cooking it, it will start melting, which you'll see. Now that I'm happy with the, the size of the cheese, let's get cooking. So you can also use the same procedure if you're using mushrooms. So fry the mushrooms first. I'll add a little bit of the crushed pepper, a small amount of salt. Remember the feta cheese also has salt. So I'm making an omelette first. So when you're making an omelette, it's always good to first fry your vegetables slightly. You want the vegetables to be soft, so slightly cook them. In the meantime, I will crush, I will, um, um, mix the egg, salt, a slight, a tiny amount of salt. Again, because I'm actually using the uh, margarine because it has salt, but uh, I always love black pepper, so I'll add a little bit more here and mix. My peppers are done. I don't want them to cook too much. I don't want them to be soft. I'll reduce the heat. I'll add the egg. So this is a very quick meal. Add the egg. Mix the egg and the pepper so that they are evenly distributed. And then very quickly, I will add the cubes of uh, the feta cheese. Distribute them like that and then very quickly come with my chapati before the egg sets uh, like that now i mentioned earlier about and then first of all before i talk about the chapati press it so that it literally um, the eggs stick to the chapati and then reduce the heat I want it now to cook slowly. Um, now, the size of pan will be determined by the size of chapati. You want a chapati that will enter, you know, get into until the bottom of the pan like this. If, if it's a smaller pan, um, you'd rather use a bigger pan than the chapati so that the pan, the chapati will, flow, um, will um, um, be flat on the pan like that reduce the heat and basically wait for it to cook cooking slowly until you notice the chapati is getting warm on the top side so maybe this is a leftover chapati it doesn't have to be hot chapati it can be cold from the fridge the only thing is you know give it time for the egg to cook on the inside I can still feel the chunks of feta cheese. I don't want them to melt too much. So now the chapati is ready, the Rolex. Um, now I'll explain about the Rolex part, why it's called a Rolex. But before that, now I said it needs to be warm. When it's warm on the top, on the chapati part, that means it's ready. Because I have a deep pan, now this is how you actually grab a plate. This is how you remove it. And then flip it like that. Now my egg is a little bit well done, it's a little bit more brown, so you can, it's, it depends on you. Um, now what happened, one side of the pan was not hot as the other, so I realized a little bit later, but it's fine. Um, in case you want to, to the liking to your doneness, that's fine. You can see the feta cheese here, it has melted. Um, and now when you want to roll it, now why it's called a Rolex, you can actually fold it into fours like into half like that or basically roll it like that uh, this is why it's called a rolex 
something that you roll and then grab a knife cut at the center and then the inside you can see the specks of white that's the cheese and then the peppers and then this is a perfect snack um, for breakfast or even you know like if you can for breakfast breakfast is actually all everything is inside here if it's a snack you can use half for this for the kids if you don't like peppers you can use without the peppers you can use mushrooms so it's up to you but the cheese now gives it an extra no an extra taste and yeah, that's it. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, let me know how yours turns out when you make it. Now, which other cheese can you use with this? Um, you can definitely use cheddar cheese. Uh, you can use uh, mozzarella. If you use mozzarella, mozzarella doesn't have taste. Um, it will just have that nice pulling effect. But for today's recipe, I chose to use the feta cheese. It has a nice subtle you know, saltiness. Um, it melts when it cooks. Um, but it doesn't like high heat. So I hope, like I said, you'll enjoy yours. And I'm signing out. Um, I hope you've learned something new. And uh, let me know how yours turns out. And until next time, I'm signing out. I'm Chef Rafael. Goodbye.